Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing OOPS concept in C++. We have discussed objects and classes, right? And based on that, we have discussed one coding exercise as well in the previous video, in which we have taken one class, declaration of the, that class in a separate file with .h extension and the main code of that program, I mean the definition of the class, the main function in a separate file with .cpp extension, right? Now, we will be discussing in this uh, video access specifiers because the main thing, one of the main advantage of using, uh, you know, OOPS concept, object oriented programming is what? The security purpose, the data is more secure in this case. But how? Here we use some access specifiers. We, you can make your data private, you can make your data public, you can make your data protected. So three access specifiers are there in C++. Private, public and protected. Right? Public we have seen. In the previous cases when we were writing programs, then we have made all our class members public, all the attributes and the methods public, right? So that we can access those class members outside the class using that object. So these public class members can be accessed like accessible everywhere inside the class as well as outside the class. This thing we have seen in examples, right? In previous videos, right? But the second is private. If you want your attributes or something to be private in your class, right, any method or any attribute, right, so that nobody, I mean, uh, not everyone can access that class member. So you can make that private. And if you make anything, any class member private, means those class members, those, you know, attributes or the, those methods can be accessed. Uh, from inside the class, I mean the by the other members of the class only, right? And as well as by the friend of that class, right? So this thing, the friend and how to access private, uh, you know, uh, attributes and all this thing we will see practically, right? But this thing you need to remember, public, these are accessible everywhere, inside and outside of the class, private, these are accessible only by the members of the class or the friends of those class, right? Like private means if I have something like my laptop or my things can be accessed only by my family members or my friends or by my friends only, right? Like through me, they can access my laptop or my things. It's not like that this is public property, like my laptop is a public property and anybody can come and access my laptop, no. Only me, my family members or my friends can access my private things, these kind of things, right? So this is how we can make our data to somewhat, you know, secure and safe, right? Third one is protected. Protected, this is used in inheritance. Means, let me just brief you, but in detail you'll see inheritance. Uh, that time I'll show you how protected works. For this video now we'll discuss only private and public. Inheritance means like, a father and then son. So like all the attributes or the property and all can be inherited by son. So this is like base class or parent class and this is child class or derived class. So protected member of father or the base class can be accessed by the child class or the derived class. Right, but not further only by the child class. So this is this kind of, uh, you know, uh, access specifier is mainly basically used in inheritance. This thing we'll see in detail in later videos. For now, we'll see public we have discussed almost. I'll show you private access specifiers with the help of an example. I hope the basic idea is clear to you, right? What is private? Why we use private access specifier? What is public and what is protected? So sometimes like if we want our data to more secure so that nobody can access that thing, not everybody can access that thing. So we make our data private, right? And there are some methods in class, those are public. So through those methods, we can access those private member of the class. Okay, whatever I'm saying, let me show you practically, then you will get this thing better. See, I hope you remember this program where we have account class, and everything is public. These are the attributes, two attributes and two methods, void, deposit and withdraw, right? In main function, we just create the object of this class, account, right? And directly we can access 
dot name dot balance directly we can access everything all the class members of this class right from outside the class see we are outside of the class in, in we are in main and directly we are accessing name and balance the attributes or the class member of this class right so why because these are public that is why you these are accessible everywhere inside the class and outside the class that inside the class means see balance from this using this method we are accessing the balance this attribute here also we are accessing this balance so inside the class also we are accessing and outside the class also we are directly accessing using the object of that class but now what if i want to make my name and the balance private right i don't want that anywhere like anyone from outside of this class can directly access my name and my balance especially my balance right so we can make those things private now how you will do that thing let me show you let's just copy paste this create a new file here and the same thing i'm going to paste only we have account class and just rather than public i am going to make all my attributes private that's it right or if you don't write anything by default these are private so by default if you don't write any access specifier the class members are private but i am writing here explicitly right but now see everything is private all the members and all but the methods i want to make public so that is why here because if everything is private so these are not accessible outside outside of this class so what is the use of making this class right something should be public in that class now so that we can access those members from outside of outside of the, that class and let's just delete this c outline from here I, i just want to update this and let's suppose i have a one more function display and here i am going to show the updated balance updated balance is this right so three methods we have those are public method and name and balance these are private so now what error you will get see now in in int main account one object i have created so let's just remove the comment using this object name jenny account one or oh sorry jenny account only jenny account dot i'm i want to access the name i want to set the name dot name is equal to jenty katri but now see the red line it is inaccessible let me just run this and i'll show you the output what error you are getting here see see the string account name is private within this contest right this is private so we cannot access this right let's just comment out all the other things so that you get only one error see now this name is private within the contest right so we cannot access here outside of the class but now how you will access if you want to access the balance or the name using these public method we can access right directly balance also we cannot access so same it will give same error see the red line here this balance is inaccessible right so these things are not going to work here now let's call this deposit okay let's just remove the comment jenny account dot deposit 1000 rupees this will work fine it is going to deposit 1000 rupees in my account and if you want to check the balance so directly obviously we cannot access we can access with the help of this display we have one more method so we can call this method here jenny account dot display so let's run this and i'll show you the output see the updated balance is 1000 rupees so we can update the balance with the help of this deposit function we can deposit we can withdraw we can display so we can access using the i mean we can access the private private class members can be accessed from the other member of the using the other members of that class or the friend of that class so these are obviously the members of this class only na deposit withdraw and display and these are public so this directly we can access outside and using these we can access this private thing suppose i have my private i my, my phone number is private but suppose my friends 
फोन नंबर इज पब्लिक सो एनी बडी कैन कॉल लाइक माई फ्रेंड एंड मे बी ही और शी लाइक माई फ्रेंड कैन टेल माई नंबर सो यूजिंग माई फ्रेंड दे कैन एक्सेस माई नंबर माई प्राइवेट यू नो फोन नंबर सो दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग यूजिंग दिस पब्लिक मेथड वी कैन एक्सेस प्राइवेट मेम्बर्स ऑफ दिस क्लास सो आई होप यू गॉट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट राइट सेम थिंग इफ यू क्रिएट योर ऑब्जेक्ट यूजिंग दिस मेथड लाइक न्यू अकाउंट दिस पॉइंटर टू ऑब्जेक्ट इफ यू क्रिएट देन ऑल्सो यू विल गेट हियर एरर एंड इफ यू एक्सेस द डिपोजिट एंड विड्रो दिस थिंग विल वर्क एंड डिस्प्ले विल वर्क बट डायरेक्टली यू कैन नॉट एक्सेस नेम एंड बैलेंस समथिंग लाइक दिस सो दिस इज योर असाइनमेंट यू हैव टू ट्राई दिस आउट जस्ट क्रिएट अ पॉइंटर टू ऑब्जेक्ट एंड देन ट्राई टू एक्सेस नेम एंड यू नो बैलेंस एंड ऑल सो बेसिकली इफ यू से लाइक हाउ टू सेट द नेम ऑफ दिस अकाउंट क्लास नाउ बिकॉज दिस इज प्राइवेट सो फॉर दिस जनरली वी हैव इन ए क्लास गेटर एंड सेटर मेथड्स राइट दो थिंग ऑल्सो इन लेटर वीडियोज आई टेल and those get and set methods getter and setter uh, setter methods are generally public using those getter and setter methods we can access the private thing we can set and get the values of the private class attributes right so yeah indirectly you can access these private thing but what is the you know advantage of uh, this thing is see i know balance and name these are private so from outside of the class nobody can access directly right so if there is some modification in the name and the balance then i know this is for sure that using these public interfaces these values has been modified by someone public interfaces means using these public methods right so i will check those public methods only using which public method my value has been modified my balance or the name has been changed right so like this nobody can access the, those private things so too much i mean to somewhat i have security i have safe data right and that is why debugging and the you know uh, the, those finding the error and the finding the misbalance or that inconsistencies in the you know values of the private members would be manageable would be easy because we only have to check those public interfaces or the public methods through which we can access private members right because that is for sure directly nobody can modify my private values my private uh, you know class members right so this is somewhat advantage of using these access specifiers protected we will see in a different video when we will discussing inheritance fine so now one assignment for you is just take here like name and balance we have deposit we have withdraw we have display so set the name right and uh, the balance deposit something withdraw something and then display the balance and with the help of a public method try to set the name because directly we cannot set the name using that object like object name dot name uh, object name dot name is equal to jayanti khatri no so make a public method through which you can set the name to jayanti khatri and then also display that name in that display function display the name as well as the balance right so this is for your assignment just write down the logic in the comment section or you can just uh, you know take a screenshot of that thing or the image or you can send me on my instagram account fine so that's it for access specifier in the next video we will see how to implement these class methods there are different different ways three to four ways to implement class methods right this thing we will see in next video right so now i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care